Now, I raised this morning at Business Questions a, uh, a situation in relation to Harrow Council, um, uh, the, the, the tip of a, uh, uh, the iceberg in terms of their responses to uh, my request for resolving cases. As we all know, uh, we as MPs have no control, executive power over councils, uh, but we are constantly raising matters with them uh, on different items of business for our constituents. Uh, Harrow Council are incredibly slow in resolving cases. We are now getting many cases which have, are unresolved for more than a year. I, I raised the case this morning of a constituent of mine who we haven't had a response from for 19 months. And it's just unacceptable uh, in, in the extreme for local authorities to be in this position. Equally, um, the frustration that, that my constituents are facing is the Harrow Council and maybe other councils as well have increasingly moved their accessibility from answering the telephone to doing it online. Now, not everyone has got online facilities at all, uh, and the council just refuses point blank to answer the telephone at all, uh, which leaves many of my constituents frustrated from being able to get service. I also wish to raise safety at night in Harrow. Now that uh, we've got out of the, the COVID restrictions, more people are commuting, coming into central London for their work. They're returning home. Obviously, uh, the, lights will, the, the nights will get uh, shorter and the, the days will get longer. But when particularly women are returning home uh, at night after dark, there is a real fear um, from um, the, the distance they have to walk from the stations to home and the risks that they're running. Many, of, uh, many residents have contacted me about this particular issue. I'm pleased to say that Metropolitan Police are taking action to enable women to, to actually receive escorts if required from stations to places of safety. And I think that's a, a welcome move. And I think often we criticise the Metropolitan Police, but we should congratulate them for this particular initiative. Um, but uh, it's clearly something that is of great concern. A reference. He then went on to start to talk about Harrow Council. And he is, of course, a worthy opponent of his friends on Harrow Council, uh, 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 not least of all uh, recently in business questions, drawing attention to the fact that their speed of response is quite poor. Uh, I know he will continue to hold them to account, but he did actually take the trouble uh, to praise them for their safety at night campaign for, uh, uh, for women. I think, uh, once again, that is something which is worth flagging in the House. Uh, it's something the government takes very seriously. That's why we've invested over £30 million in our safer streets uh, for women and night funds to help women and girls feel safer. And I think uh, 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 members across the House will support him in that campaign and Harrow Council.